guys, welcome. If you are new here, I'm Brielle. I'm a custom shoe artist. My custom shoe business name is Custom B. If you are not new here, well, welcome back. Today, I am going to tell you guys five things that you should know when becoming a shoe customizer. These are five things that I wish I would have known beforehand. Let's get right into it. The first thing that you should know, number one, and the most important thing, is the correct shoe paint and the correct preparation. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what you need and why. So the paint that I use is Angelus Paint. I'm sorry, that's a little messy, but um, Angelus Paint is a leather acrylic paint that does not chip, peel, and it is very flexible with the leather and any type of fabric that you paint on. They do have other brands for when you wanna paint on shoes. Angelus is just the one that I like and it's really the most popular one. The second thing that you need, actually this is the very first thing that you use, is nail polish remover or in other words acetone. This is the brand that I use. It is for me uh, the one that works the best and it's non-scented and it's 100% acetone. So you want to get acetone or nail polish remover just like this that isn't doesn't have like any different colors to it because sometimes nail polish removers will have different colors different scents and you want the one that is the most basic one so this brand is my favorite one the second thing that you need to know about being a shoe customizer is marketing it is super important if you want to be successful in this industry to market your stuff and this goes hand in hand with content so you just want to create as many, as much content as you can. Um, I get it first starting out. It's a little bit hard because you don't, you might not have the money to just buy shoes and just start painting on them and posting it. But if you can get your friends to send you shoes to do. When I was first starting out, I had a lot of my own shoes that I was customizing and a lot of my friends' shoes. So I would have them give me, give me their shoes and then I would also use my shoes to customize just to create content, to put stuff on my page, whatever it is. It does not always have to be Air Forces or Vans. Sometimes those can get expensive, especially Air Forces or Nikes in general. So if you just have other shoes that you wanna paint on and it does not have to be leather either, you just want to create content because this is going to market your brand a lot. And if, again, you want to be successful in this, it takes a lot of hard work in marketing yourself. The third thing that you should know about customizing on shoes is the time it's going to take. If you are starting to have customers and let's say you blow up or you even just have two or three customers, make sure that you take the time that you need to paint on the shoe. How long does it take you to paint? You might have to go through trial and error to get this right but it is most important that you don't sh cut yourself off short. Make sure that you give yourself the time that you need and your customers know that it's going to take time to paint because art isn't easy, art takes time and your customers should know that. They should be patient with you. I have a lot of patient customers and honestly, if anyone's getting anything custom done, you shouldn't have to rush for them. They should know that you're literally making it by hand and doing it yourself. And so just trust that, trust the process. It's going to take a lot of time. Um, maybe you're a fast painter, but either way, if it's a big design, it's still gonna take time. So if you have to say it's gonna take one to two weeks, two to three weeks, three to four weeks to fulfill an order, go ahead and do that. And give yourself that extra week time in case anything happens, in case you wanna take a day off and it takes you longer to get it done. Okay, so the fourth thing that you need to know is the pricing. What are you gonna price your products at? For this one, it is, again, trial and error. In the beginning, you don't want to be pricing your things super high because you don't know what your demographic is yet. You don't know who's gonna be buying your stuff. You don't know anything yet. So, so price your stuff at a reasonable price and at a price that obviously you're gonna be profiting something. You don't wanna be pricing your products at $100 and then going to the Nike store, spending $100 on the Nike Air Forces and profiting nothing. You wanna get something out of it. So price your products at a right price in the beginning where you're gonna be profiting something so that you're not just losing out. Now, the fifth thing that you need to know and the very last thing is practice. Practice, practice, practice. It is going to take a lot of practice to obviously get where you want to be and honestly you could be a really really good artist right now and in a year from now you could be even way better because 
practice makes perfect, for real. It really does. I mean, if you are doing the designs every single day, if you're painting every single day, or a couple times a week on shoes, you're obviously gonna be way better at painting on shoes. And what seemed to be hard at first is going to seem a lot easier. And it's gonna become like second nature to you. The preparation process, how you paint, you're gonna start you know, having your own techniques, having your own way of doing things, and you'll get in the groove of it. Like I said, keep doing your friend's shoes, keep doing your shoes, painting on different things. This is not like painting on a normal flat surface. Remember that it has the stitches, it has the grooves. So if you're practicing on all those things, you're gonna definitely get better at proportions, at sketching stuff out, at painting, at layering, at blending, all those things, so. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button and let's get to a thousand subscribers so we can do a giveaway. Yay, okay, see you guys later, bye.